Pokemon rivals. Some games have a lot of them, and they're all really friendly, which is nice, I guess. And then other games have one rival, and he's not so friendly, and that's also okay. Anyways, today I'm counting down my top five rivals in all Pokemon games, from Red, Blue to Sun and Moon. It's doing the side games. These rivals will be judged on who they are as a person and if they have any character development mainly, but their theme, team, and anime and manga appearances will also be taken into account. Okay, let's get- oh wait. For these rivals, we are using the Bulbapedia list of rivals, meaning that sadly, N is officially kicked off the list. Other than that, here we go. Barry is the only rival in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and he takes the number 5 spot on the list mainly for his anime appearances, which are pretty hilarious. To be honest, nothing really stood out to me about Barry's character besides the whole running around screaming, I'm gonna find you, and even that, he only does that once. So, in the game, he's just pretty much the rival, there's nothing more to it. The anime, however, took this less memorable rival and turned him into one of the best characters in the anime, in my opinion. This, along with his pretty awesome theme, lands in the number 5 spot on the list. One of my favorite memories from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is just walking around the Bell Resort minding my own business and then suddenly deciding to talk to that lady with a parasol. She asked me if I wanted to change the music, and I said, yeah, sure, why not? Yep, Wally's theme. And one of my worst mistakes from Pokemon was turning the volume down during my first battle with him, first time I played through. Anyways, aside from Wally's awesome theme, Wally is a very interesting character. You don't see him much before you meet him on Victory Road. Well, besides the whole capture tutorial and battle in Marvel and whatnot. But Victory Road is his main appearance. While I do really like meeting the new and improved Wally and battling him on Victory Road, I do wish Pokemon had added him to the main storyline a bit more. You just, you hardly see this kid, you know he's sick, but then you just, oof, let's battle. And while Wally is a very good character, I just wish they had him in the game more. Another thing I really like about Wally is his team. Altaria, Delcaddy, Magneton, Gallade, and Roselia. Not in that order. It's just a random mashup of Pokemon he would have encountered on his journey traveling from place to place trying to get better. And that's really cool! So for his good character, good team, and awesome theme, Wally gets the number 4 spot. So, how would you feel if your little sister's Pokemon was stolen by Team Plasma five years ago? Okay, next question. How would you feel if the Pokemon was given to you by your grandfather, which you gave to your little sister as a birthday present, but then you take the unwilling sister and her purloin out on a route to practice Pokemon battling? But then, Team Plasma shows up and liberates your sister's purloin, and you can do nothing to stop them from running away with the purloin. That would explain why the number 3 arrival instantly flies into the rage at the mere sight of a Team Plasma grunt. The entire reason he went on his journey in the first place in both the game and the manga is for his little sister's sake. Would you do that for your little sibling? But still, he's pretty nice to the player character, so you actually end up feeling kind of bad when he reunites with his wife. So yeah, number three spot taken. So coming in at number two is Hal, or at least I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyways, there are a lot of friendly rivals out there, but none of them beat Hal. He's also the funniest Pokemon rival, debatably, which is nice in a game where a lot of the main characters are serious, like Lily and Gladian. He's chill, he's positive, he gives the main character a lot of free items, and he has these priceless delayed reaction moments. For all though, Hal is just a regular Pokemon trainer traveling all around Alola to eat all the molasses. I mean, train his team so he can beat his grandfather. 
Also, out of all the rivals, he has the most fitting theme. It's just so happy! And the number one spot on this list goes to Gladium. First of all, when I said that Hal has the most fitting theme, I still love Gladium's theme. You don't know a lot about him when you first meet him, only that he joined Team Skull, he has a cool Pokemon, he's not very nice to Hal, and he doesn't get along well with most of the Team Skull grunts. But as you play through the game and encounter Gladium a few more times, you realize a few more things about him, like that he's related to Lucimin and Lily, and that he also ran away with one of his mother's Pokemon after realizing how insane he was. Also meet him later in the game at Mount Rana Victory Road. Let's call that Victory Road. After battling him, he tells you how Lily and this men are doing and says, We aren't friends, but we aren't enemies anymore either. Keep winning. Maybe I'll see you again if you do. He's nice like Hal, but still mean like Blue, has a bad parent like Silver, and loves his sister like he. And that's why he's number one on this list. So, thanks for watching, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, advertisements, 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 and have a great day.